It's that time of year again. The Taiwan salt is being sufficiently spread on roadways and sidewalks. Salt helps keep areas clear by lowering the freezing point of water to below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, helping melt existing snow or ice and reducing future accumulations. Over 15 million tons of road salt is applied across the United States each year. When all of that salt disappears from our driveways and roadways, it gets carried away into our local waterways. Too much salt in our waterways adds too much chloride into our drinking water and negatively affects aquatic organisms. 40% of urban waters contain unsafe chloride levels for aquatic life. Salty waters mean nutrients decrease, water circulation reduces, oxygen levels decrease, and aquatic life salt uptake regulation changes. Fish often die if they can't flee to fresher water. Habitats become toxic for salt intolerant species. Aside from having negative effects on local waterways, road salt is also harmful to plants and animals. It dehydrates and kills any nearby plant life by sucking up the water before the plants get a chance to absorb it. Moose, deer, and birds are attracted to the salt crystals, putting them at a higher risk of toxicity and being roadkill. Salt can even be more harmful to your dog. The crystals get lodged in between their toes, causing irritation. When your dog licks these crystals, their mouth and digestive tracts become inflamed. These issues are not unnoticed. City salting crews have started to help combat the effects of salting by mixing the salt with sand and gravel for better traction and have begun implementing the road weather information system, which provides helpful data such as road temperatures and how many chemicals are already on the road. In the future, states are hoping to construct solar roads, getting rid of road salt altogether. But until solar roads happen, how can you make sure yourself and other organisms stay safe during salt season? You can buy de-icers that carry the EPA's Safer Choice label, follow the directions on the package, wet the salt before applying it to slippery areas, salt before a storm, use salt sparingly, and keep salt away from plants. For Up in the Air, I'm Christy Stewart.